Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at how you can use your iPad as your main machine. In this episode, we're going to talk about transferring content that you create on the iPad onto other devices. Now, you may still need to interact with other machines, even though you're using the iPad as your main machine. Now, that might mean sending things directly to your clients that you're working with, or it could mean taking items that are here and putting them onto another machine that you're also working with. Now, there's a few different ways that you can move your documents around. One of these ways, albeit a bit limited, is Dropbox. It allows you to share docs between your computers and the iPad. Unfortunately, it can only upload images and videos at the moment in the other direction. If you have a bunch of images and videos that you're sending the other way, that may be one way to do it. Now, if there are other documents that you're creating on the iPad that you want to send off to another computer, there are other ways to send those off, thankfully. Most of the apps have a couple of ways to send the content out. So, for example, when you're inside an app like Pages, Numbers, or GarageBand, there are share icons on the application itself. When you click on the share option, you generally have the ability to email the document as an attachment. So if you have a document that you want to send to a client, you can click share, send it as an email directly to the client from the iPad. Now, if you want to transfer it back to one of your own computers, that might be a little bit cumbersome, especially if you have a number of documents that you're sending. Instead, you'll probably want to look at the share through iTunes option. Then when you get back to your other computer, you can hook up the iPad using the USB cable like you normally would when you're syncing. Fire up iTunes on the computer if it doesn't fire up automatically and then look at the Apps tab. At the bottom, there's a list of apps with documents that are saved on the iPad. Find the application that you worked in and the documents that you want to move over to the computer. Highlight them, and then click on the option for saving them directly to your computer. Then it'll sync the documents over to the computer you attached to, and then you can start working on them there. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series. We'll show you other ways that you can use your iPad as your main machine. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.